Well, good Friday morning, everyone. I'm Maggie Flecknow, and this is Houston Happens. It's Friday, so you know what that means. I've taken the show on the road. Now, this is pretty amazing. It's not every day that you get a behind-the-scenes look at the Alley Theater, but they opened up just for us, and it's hot outside, but let me tell you, ooh, do you guys feel that? I have goosebumps because there is a chill in the air. In fact, there's a murderer upon us. That's right. We are giving you a behind the scenes look at Agatha Christie's The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Now, who done it? I'm not quite sure, but we're going to be talking to some key players and showing you the set. In fact, I am so excited because we are joined by, oh, Good morning, sir. Oh, hello. Hello. You wouldn't happen to be reading <gasps> the, the Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Well, fancy by Agatha that. Christie. So it truly is based on the novel. Oh, and yes. introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, I'm, I'm David Sinaiko. I play Hercule Poirot in uh, Alley Theater's Summer Chills current production of The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Agatha Christie's The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Well, I love yeah, it. I've had you on my show in the past. Yeah. And let's take a seat. The oh, set is awesome. unbelievable. Yeah, isn't it incredible? I just incredible? love how they transform everything. So tell us a little bit about your experience here at the Alley. Oh, well, I am so thrilled to be back at the Alley uh, for my second time here. Uh, I was here in 2019 for The Murder on the Orient Express, another Agatha Christie piece. And... Uh, the Alley Theater is an incredible place. Houston is so lucky to have a theater where the artistry is so impeccable. You can see the set is, it's incredible what the craftsmen and women here uh, do to bring an incredible theater experience. To and you know city. what I love is, I feel like everybody, especially now, we need an escape. We're escaping something. And here, the minute you tr step in, you've transformed into this other place. So tell everybody, if they're not familiar with this story, a little bit. Don't give too much away, but a little bit about the story. Well, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd was the book that put Agatha Christie on the map. It's a very famous book. It's one of her best uh, known mysteries and uh, it's got a very interesting way in which it's told uh, by a narrator who is a character in the story so it's not told in the third person it's a world premiere right. uh, adaptation of this by Mark Shanahan a brilliant brilliant a take on the novel. And so for lovers of Agatha Christie, it's gonna be a real treat to come see this particular story staged. And if you've never seen an Agatha Christie, it's a great mystery. We love it, people. We can hear them actually in the audience wondering who done it the whole way through until the end. And I get to play the detective. I get to solve the mystery every night. That's amazing. So <laughs> every night, yeah. what is your favorite part about this role, would you say? Hercule Poirot is a really iconic character. So for any actor, it's a tr total treat to be able to play a character like that, who's very well known. There are many versions of him out there. Albert Finney, one of my favorite actors, has played Hercule Poirot. Uh, so he, he's very distinct. He's got superpowers of being able to deduce from people's behavior what they may be thinking, what their motives may be. So whereas Sherlock Holmes, he's a little bit like Sherlock Holmes, but whereas Holmes is this almost supernatural intellect, Poirot can study people's behavior and understand what their motives might be. He really looks at what possible motives there might be and sees things that no one else can see. Okay, well that is a tease, my friend. We definitely want to come and see the show. We have all of the details and how you can get tickets over on our website, cw39.com, but we're just getting started here. In fact, I think we have the victim joining us. I believe Roger Ackroyd's in the house. Yes, he's in the house. <laughs> he's back from the dead, my friends. But in the meantime, I'm telling you, the best part is you can escape all of the heat, you know, because it's definitely a little chilly in here. Ooh, I like that. I'll be heading down your way then, Maggie, here in just a second. Also, got to say, I love your skirt. It's like the most awesome thing I've seen. Like, oh. check that out, guys. What? That's a face on the You know I skirt. always dress the part. <laughs> it just had to be it a little is, dramatic. Shout out to Houston designer Chloe Dow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she did Me awesome. dramatic? What? What? <laughs> and you're a little dramatic a little too late there. <laughs>
All right, hey, let's talk about the heat now. If you're going to be out and around town, yeah, it's just going to be hot, everybody. We're looking at temperatures for this weekend, hitting 102 on Saturday in Houston and then 101 by Sunday. If you're heading out to the beach, it looks like temperatures are going to be in the low 90s, but we have heat index temperatures, excuse me, heat index numbers still with us over the next couple of days, and that's actually going to be bringing our feels like temperatures over into the 102. And I don't know why, but my graphics are going the opposite way. And I wish Adam was still in here to help fix this. There we go. Okay, so now we're about 102 for today. Heat index at 1 at 12. And there is the possibility of seeing a very spotty rain shower. Take a look at future cast. And it looks like that's not working either. But just so you know, we are going to maybe possibly see a 10% chance of rain here and there. But we're not going to be getting very much rain. Take a look here at the rain outlook. Pretty much dry around this area. In fact, yesterday the drought monitor came out. We haven't seen much of a change from last week. But even last week we were still abnormally dry. And then we were actually seeing some so drought conditions happening right along the Texas-Louisiana border. So we definitely need that rain, but it doesn't look like it's going to be be here in just a second and meanwhile I'm not doing my due diligence here if I don't show you that we do have heat alerts for today all this area in that orange that is a heat advisory that means our heat index temperatures are gonna be reaching about 112 and that's very dangerous so you want to make sure that you stay hydrated find some shade and of course please always check the backseat of your car we do not want to see any children losing their lives because they're trapped and there's very hot cars Take a look now at our extended forecast. We're going to be hitting 102 for today and then again 102 for tomorrow, 101 on Sunday, 102 on Monday, and then looking at the rest of the extended forecast, it's just going to be hundreds. Plus, take, take a look overnight. We're not going to be getting any relief with temperatures around 80 degrees. Matt, wait, where did she go? All right. What are you, you know, doing up there? I'm right here making a dramatic entrance. Oh! so much fun. Yay! It's not every day you get to be behind the scenes at the Alley Theater. So I want you all to stay tuned because we are live out here. It is the murder of Roger Ackroyd, but breaking news, Roger is back from the dead. That's headed your way on Houston Happens. I came out with my pants on Are so you trying to get me put off television? Judge Mathis. You got the real deal. Next on CW 39 Houston. Tonight on News Nation, will former President Trump's indictment help him politically? And is it a good idea to have non-citizens serve as peace officers? Dan has a stacked panel to discuss. Journalist Scotty Mel Hughes, political contributor Chris Hahn, and News Nation's Elizabeth Vargas. Tonight on Dan Abrams Live. What makes Kelsey Care Advantage the fastest growing Medicare Advantage plan in Houston? In a word, everything. With great new benefits and comprehensive coverage, plus exceptional care delivered by Houston's own Kelsey Siebel Clinics. Kelsey Care Advantage is everything you're looking for. Want extra money for dental, vision, and hearing expenses? Our new $500 Flex Card covers everything from dentures to glasses. How about a ride to your next doctor's appointment? Transportation to and from medical visits is unlimited. Plus, Kelsey Care Advantage is the only Medicare Advantage plan in Texas to receive Medicare's five-star rating for seven straight years. Now that's consistent quality you can count on. And that means everything. Call now to join the plan that delivers everything you want in coverage and care. Kelsey Care Advantage, 713-442-7822. Kayaking is my thing. Running is awesome. But her moderate to severe eczema would make her skin so uncomfortable. I was always so itchy, especially when I was hot. Now my skin doesn't itch as much. Now we're staying ahead of her eczema. There's a power inside all of us to live our passion. And Dupixent works on the inside to help heal your skin from within. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema so they can have clearer skin and less itch. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Healing from within is a wonderful thing. 
Ask your child's eczema specialist how Dupixin can help heal their skin from within. You are telling the truth! Separate fact from fiction. You are the father. He can see the Maury truth. Maury, today at 1 on CW39 Houston. Well, who doesn't love a good murder mystery? And here at the Alley Theater, we are giving you a behind-the-scenes look at Agatha Christie's The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. I keep looking for clues as to who murdered Roger. Well, I don't know. Roger. Should we ask Roger himself? Well, this isn't exactly Roger. Introduce yourself to everybody. Maggie, what are you doing in my study? <laughs> well, the door was open. <laughs> I'm Sean Hamilton. I'm a resident acting company member at the Alley Theater, and I'm playing Roger Ackroyd in The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Well, honey, you look good after you just were murdered. I'm not doing too bad for an old man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look amazing. So tell us a little bit about this role. Uh, I am the great, wealthy um, landowner, Roger Ackroyd, and I have a troubled family who I have to look out for because all of them are out to get me, Ooh. and uh, it doesn't end well for me, I will say that. Yes, spoiler alert, but we don't know who did it. It's in the title, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. <laughs> I know, hate to break it to you all, but I, I didn't know if you knew this, but you're going to be killed off. Oh, man, I'm going to look at my contract. At least it's not a soap opera, right? <laughs> but at least you can always come back for those. Now, here's the thing. You keep coming back and coming back. Congrats on your success here. Oh, We've seen you, you in a lot of shows, so tell us a little bit about what you've been doing here at The Alley. Uh, a lot of shows, uh, a lot of Christmas carols, um, a uh, lot of shows, uh, Clue, a lot of uh, terrific, fun things. Uh, it's been about four or five years, and I've worked at a number of theaters around town, and I love the alley. So what is it about the alley? Why would you encourage everybody to come out here? It's just special to sit in this amazing house and have the lights go out in these beautiful red seats and see this beautiful set come up. And we call it Summer Chills for a reason, because you feel that chill as, you, as the music comes up and the violins and the woodwinds, and you think, you know, what, what adventure am I going to be on tonight? And I have to say, I did see you in Clue. I'm a huge fan of the Summer Chills and uh, just escaping. But you know what I love about yeah. you all? Your comedic timing. Uh, it's a great company. It's a fun company. It's a really funny company. So I have to keep up. Yeah, I think you do your part, my friend. <laughs> what is your favorite part of this show? Uh, I can't show it to you, but I think it's the, um, after they find me dead, there's this amazing knife in my neck, and it looks really cool. I, I showed it to my daughter, and so she thought it was pretty creepy. I love it, and that's the thing, too, and what I love about theater is, like, with looking at the books, the, they've been painted, the set, the set designers, the costume designers, prop master, all of that, so it's really a company. Uh, it's huge. We have uh, artists that make our beautiful floors and the props and the lighting. It's amazing what you can do with something that's about a quarter of a house. It makes it look like it's this giant mansion on a hill. They're amazing. I know. I've really enjoyed my time here and getting to take you all behind the scenes. But we want you to be seated in those seats. So, of course, we have all of the information on our website, CW39.com, how you can get your hands on some tickets and see my friend here get murdered but don't worry now i know yeah. maybe you'd rather be dead than have to go back to school shopping uh i would my my <laughs> daughter my daughter's 14 and we're coming up to it about right now oh goodness well don't worry i'm here for you my friend we have some tips when it comes to getting ready for back to school when it comes to advice for saving for students for the new school year, I've got three quick tips. The first is to think about using these last few weeks of summer to stock up some of that fallback cash to set you up for success over the semester. Also a good habit to bear in mind over the course of the school year in general. The second is to think about splitting the cost of groceries and activities with your roommates. You can keep track just with a note on your phone. The third is to take advantage of exclusive for students and savings opportunities. Like with Shipped, we've got our new Shipped for Student membership. It's available for $4.99 a month, so it's half off our regular monthly membership at ship.com slash student. You sign up with a .edu email address, get access to unlimited same-day delivery of groceries and essentials, anything that you might need from retailers like Target, Office Depot, and many more.
students. It definitely is a very stressful time of year for students and their parents. So when it comes to resources to keep those stress levels in check, I think it really comes down to taking advantage of exclusive for students opportunities. Like Shipped for Students, our new student exclusive membership, it's $4.99 a month, so it's half off our regular monthly membership price. You can get access at ship.com slash student with your .edu email address. That gets you access to unlimited same-day delivery from retailers across your community. Most importantly, though, we really add that human connection and sense of personalization to both the shopping and delivery experience. And some of the shoppers who shop with Shipped are actually teachers themselves, so they can help advise on things in your cart that must be must-haves or could be things that you might not necessarily need. So we really bring that local and human connection to the experience. When it comes to must-have items that students are seeking out for the school year, we are fortunate to be partnering with the actress and entrepreneur Issa Rae. She has curated for us her recommended list of must-haves for students. It's got things like a pack of ballpoint pens with some fun affirmations on them to kind of kick your day off on a bright note, all that note-taking over the course of each day. It has a power bank to keep that phone charge 24-7. We know how important that is for college students. It's got a letter board so you can leave some fun, welcoming messages for your roommates, for folks that are visiting your dorm or your house, and those extra crunchy Cheez-Its for late night snacking as you're prepping for midterms and finals. In addition to that kit of essentials from ESA, we have exclusive savings for members from all of our different retailers every day over the course of the year. Everything from bed sheets to even your mini fridge that you might need for your dorm to backpacks and groceries to stock up your fridge. For more information, head to shipped.com slash student sign up with your edu email address well speaking of back to school when it comes to tech and gadgets the main character with us is rich demuro he has more on a stem camp in today's tech smart Today's the big day of the launch, so we've been preparing for this and we're finally here. An important day for students at a summer camp called Project Payload. So our girls are going to design their payload, attach it to a parachute line, and inflate a balloon that's going to be about 16 feet wide in diameter when it's completely inflated. The STEM camp with supervision by USC is rooted in aerospace engineering. This high altitude weather balloon experiment teaches about pressure and more. It's pretty challenging, I'm not going to lie. We've taught them coding, we've taught them 3D CAD, they, we've taught them about different layers of the atmosphere and how gravity and rocketry works. There is a lot that goes into a balloon launch. Student Joy Smith says the camp was more fun than she expected. It really changed my view on science because science we need it in everyday life and this really helped me went to a new view of how science is. Ashley Adame is back as a counselor. I think what contributes to what makes a camper learn is that if they're passionate, um, interested, and they're curious. You know, they ask questions and they're interested in what they're learning. A major goal of the camp is to get more young girls interested in STEM careers. I think STEM is a really amazing like career and fields to get into and I feel like um, if girls knew more about it, I feel like they would really get be more interested in it. The program funded through a donation from aerospace VC firm Embedded Ventures. Very important to us that we also invest in the next generation of founders and entrepreneurs. Whether today's experiment flies or flops doesn't necessarily matter. Three, two, one. It's the larger impact of Project Payload that will return dividends in the future. We hope that Project Payload inspires these students to make their passion for curiosity and experimentation visible and available to their peers long after the summer program. I'm Rich DeMuro and you are Tech Smart. Bravo, bravo, oh gentlemen, yes bravo, let me tell you, Ray reviews here at the Alley Theater. We have been taking you behind the scenes. Yes, you don't want to miss this. But here's the thing. We're all about entertaining here on the show. So let's check in with our friend Dean Richards to see what we should be streaming. Boys, where have you been? Woo! We're just running errands. That's it. 
You take four of the most popular children's characters of all time and reboot them in a movie from the makers of the R-rated comedies Super Bad, Pineapple Express, and Sausage Party, and you wind up with one of the most entertaining and surprising movies of the year that's not remotely R-rated. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back once again at the movies with full cast of A-list voices and a look and feel that is gritty and exciting. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem starts off as an origin story. It's been about 40 years since the turtles were first introduced in the comic books, so I like that they went back to the sewers where it all began to give it some context. From there, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael spend their time running errands for their adopted rat father, wondering about the outside world and the people who live there, eventually meeting up with a teenage reporter who is also looking for acceptance, bringing them into a plan to stop the movie's villain Superfly, perfectly voiced by Ice Cube. It's an exciting story with a surprising innocent charm and understanding. Not a terrible lesson in this world that is so us versus them right now. But the real treat here is the tone and look of this movie. Producer Seth Rogen and his team have brought an edgy looseness to the script, and especially to its comic book-like visuals. Instead of a slick Pixar-y kind of style, they went with a more original graphic novel feel. All of that plus tangible chemistry between between the animated characters, adding up to a winner and a Dean's List B+. Everybody back into the station! Commit it! Hit fly! Not screened for the critics this week is the sequel to the Jaws knockoff from about five years ago, The Meg. Apparently in The Meg 2, The Trench, a mega shark meets other mega creatures to battle it all out, all with Jason Statham right in the middle of it all. Look out, Barbie. Here comes the giant fish. It's rated PG-13. As always, you can get my movie reviews and also my home video picks sent to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. I hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Former Judge Alex Royer and others, paid spokesperson for Smith & Hassler, Houston, Texas. You're injured. Let's talk about getting all the money you may deserve. I'm TV's Judge Alex Ferrer. The insurance company is not your friend and you may have only one opportunity to get maximum compensation. A good lawyer shouldn't cost you more. They should get you more. Call Smith & Hassler. They really do mean business. If you've been injured in an accident, call 1-800-WIN-WIN-1 right now. Smith & Hassler. This fall, your kick could make a big difference. The Periwinkle Kickball Classic, Saturday, October 14th at the Westbury Little League. Proceeds go to improve the lives of children and teens fighting cancer and other life-threatening illnesses. Your team and others will bring awareness while raising funds for an incredible cause. To register, go to periwinklefoundation.org and click events. Join us at the Periwinkle Kickball Classic, Saturday, October 14th. Kick for the kids and kick for fun. Want to make your patio beautiful? With five great Houston area rooms to go patio showrooms, it's easy. Shop stylish outdoor dining sets, comfortable seating sets, poolside sets, and more in stock and ready to go. And because it's rooms to go, you get amazing styles at great prices. Rooms to go patio. Women are bad with money. It's what the world's been saying for centuries. But now, we've got something to say. Save it. Save the old-fashioned advice, the empty excuses. It's all worthless, unlike us. To our fellow females, it is time to save ourselves by saving our money. Contributing to our futures, investing in our independence, until we're no longer 80%, 80%, 80% more likely than men to live in poverty in retirement. So again, we say to that, save it. The falsehoods, the feelings of fault, then the funds. Learn how to save for your retirement at wesaysaveit.org. 
The drama is scorching hot, and the guests are ice cold. Have you ever cheated on him? Yes. He's just finding out for the first time? So get ready for some fireworks. Steve Wilkos, today at 2 on CW39 Houston. Well, all the world is a stage, and we've taken over the stage at the Alley Theater. Agatha Christie's The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. He's back from the dead, but I love this because I'm sandwiched between the detective mm. and the victim. So, tell yes. me. Yes. Who did it? Ha, 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 <laughs> I mean, I'm a good journalist. Well, I'll tell you who did it. I won't tell you. <laughs> I love Sorry. this, though. Mm -hmm. To be sandwiched between two of you and two such talented, brilliant actors, this morning has been just a joy. Tell everybody why they should come out and see the show. Uh, it's just fun. You, we talk, call it summer chills because that's what you're going to feel as you're sitting in those seats. As you listen to Poirot go over the case and figure out who did it. All right, I'm still trying to figure out who did it. Mm -hmm. Why would you encourage everybody to come out? Oh, well, it's funny. It's thrilling. It's good for all ages, seven and up. Uh, and we've had kids in the audience who really like it. Everyone tries to figure out who does it. I know who did it. I'm not going to tell you. You got to come out and see it at the oh, Alley Theater. He's through a real tease, you August know. August 27th, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, August yeah. I even tried to get it out of the dead guy, trying to get it out of the detective. Mm. I guess I'm just going to have to come out here and see it. Twist my arm. But no, you don't need to twist my arm because let me tell you, it's pure magic here. Again, get your tickets. We have all of the information over on our website, CW39.com. Hopefully, there's not another murder while I'm still here on set. No, I'm just kidding. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you back in studio Monday morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, bye for now. Have a great weekend and happy birthday early to our director, Charlie. You are a gift to us all. It's his birthday tomorrow. Happy you birthday, come to Charlie. The show. Happy birthday. Bye for now, everybody. Have a great weekend.